Hey, what's going on my gaming peeps and welcome to another episode of Just The Facts with yours truly. Today we are discussing something completely blasphemous to gaming, or could it be something historic? Only time will tell and that's why we are here to find out exactly why Sony and Microsoft, these longtime rivals, have suddenly decided to team up. So that being said, on with the show and I will tell you what I found out. So, after decades of rivalry as to who wins the console wars, something questionable or possibly historic has happened. A few days ago, Sony and Microsoft have given us an unexpected team-up. The two tech giants will explore the joint development of future cloud solutions on Microsoft's new Azure platform. Don't ask me why they called it Azure, but yeah. Uh, to support their respective game and content streaming services, as well as the use of current Microsoft Azure data center based solutions for Sony's game and content streaming service. According to an announcement uh, from uh, you know both CEOs of the companies, whatever they were saying. So basically this could mean a number of things. As we as gamers already know, Sony and Microsoft have separate servers for the games that require online access, with games like Grand Theft Auto Online or Need for Speed, for example. As we know, the separate tech giants have separate servers for these games which don't allow cross-play. So, with this unusual team-up and the recent announcements of next-generation consoles incoming, this could mean that Sony and Microsoft will finally have a fourth wall break and allow crossplay on games such as Fortnite, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, and all the greats we've come to know and love over the last couple of years. In another case, Sony might use Microsoft's cloud infrastructure to deliver PlayStation Now, its current game streaming service. This may also mean, uh, well, this may also explain PlayStation's lack of AAA titles on the PlayStation Store lately. So, many enterprises do actually already use this Azure thing that Microsoft have got going on to deliver applications and manage online databases. Still, the news is rather surprising because Microsoft is also preparing its own gaming streaming service called Project xCloud, which is extremely similar to PlayStation's PlayStation Now service. So, This will start public trials later this year. That's the Microsoft Project X Cloud thing. Whatever. I don't know. I'm not up on all the Xbox Microsoft shit. (laughs) Uh, But Project X Cloud will also be powered by Azure, using data centers outfitted with custom hardware to stream Xbox games to any device, including smartphones. See, this is where an Xbox Portable would have been beneficial to Microsoft, so another point to Sony for the PSP there. Just saying. (laughs) You know, even though the PSP was brought out before its time, like, imagine if the PSP came out now, it would be so much better, you know, it would receive a lot more feedback, and it would be so much easier to just connect that to your PlayStation and play your PlayStation 4 games off a new PSP. So, you know, I don't know why they did it way, way back then instead of now. But yeah, uh, back on topic, so whether or not Sony could one day offer its own PlayStation games over Microsoft's game streaming service and vice versa wasn't addressed. But both companies will soon compete against a new entrant into the console wars, and that is Google. I mean, yeah, you heard that right, Google is joining the gaming hype later this year. The search giant will launch its own game service called Stadia, which will let you stream games on PCs, smartphones, and Chromecast-enabled TVs, with only 25 megabits per second internet connection, I might add. So you can have the most terrible internet in the world, and you can still play it, which is quite awesome. Might be a bit of lag, but you can still play it. Also, in other news... Amazon is also rumoured to be planning a game streaming service as well, so there's a ton of new competition coming through for Sony and Microsoft, so this team-up might not be so out there after all. So, 
In an announcement from Sony CEO, Mr. Yoshida, he stated his mission is to evolve the PlayStation platform to ensure, and this is a direct quote, the best possible experience anytime, anywhere. He continues to say, I believe that our joint development of future cloud solutions will contribute greatly to the advancement of interactive content. So that can tell us a number of things. Like it could mean the end of console exclusives because, you know, we'll all be joining up in the same sort of universe. But I'll get into detail on that a bit later. I did have a segment somewhere in here that I was going to talk about the like redundancy of the AAA titles and single platform games. Uh, but moving on, outside of the gaming world, the two companies will also explore collaboration on artificial intelligence and semiconductors, including building new intelligent imaging sensor solutions which enterprises can use. So, did somebody say Skynet? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this sounds like a Terminator 2 thing. This is totally going to become self-aware. We're going to be taken down by robot versions of our favorite gaming characters. <laughs> Imagine just you're strolling down the street and there's a fucking robot version of Kratos that just comes and guts you. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, not if you're dead, but yeah, it'd still be fucking awesome. You know, um, so... I wouldn't count on a T-800 Arnie coming to save the day. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Sony and Microsoft will be the cause of judgment day at this rate, guys. <laughs> you know, we're just going to see the end of days. You know, We're going to see uh, all our favorite gaming characters come to kill us. And it's, 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 it's going to be a Terminator thing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but back to, back to the seriousness. It's safe to say we can expect more details in the future. But the partnership may end up resembling how Netflix relies on Amazon's AWS cloud platform to power its video streaming service, even though Amazon actually has its own streaming service through Amazon Prime Video, so that's just greedy on their part. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, this historic rivalry of the console wars could end altogether with people buying both consoles instead of being the atypical PlayStation slash Xbox guy. Or, well, to avoid sexism, Xbox or PlayStation person. Let's go with that. <laughs> uh, this announcement comes as a huge shock, though. But it doesn't come as a surprise if you do think about it. That it's been in talks for years that they're wanting to do cross-play and team up. But both Sony and Microsoft will be looking to the future in order to ensure sales of their future products. This partnership could actually be a good thing, as it could see, and as I mentioned earlier in video, uh, uh, sorry, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, I had some sort of thing written down about how uh, console exclusives could be a thing of the past, and here we've come to it. But yeah, as it could finally see the two companies providing a unified platform on which game developers can simultaneously produce games for both Sony and Microsoft systems, giving the companies a potentially decisive edge as newcomers scramble to secure enough content to make their offerings attractive. So, as I was saying, yeah, all but destroying the need for the historic console exclusives. So, take, um, take Uncharted, the Uncharted series, for example, has always been exclusive to PlayStation, but with this new partnership and this whole new, like, direction that Sony and Microsoft are going, that could all but eliminate console exclusives. So, you know, you've got Uncharted on PlayStation and take uh, take Halo on the Xbox, for example. It could just remove it altogether, like, and they could just put it on the streaming service for both services or release games that aren't console exclusives anymore. Which, uh, which, which is a really cool thing because, um, I mean, there are a couple of exclusives on the Xbox that I wouldn't mind playing. Well, back in the day, anyway. Like, the Dead Rising franchise, for example. Yeah, a couple of them have come over to the PlayStation, but the majority of them were console exclusive to Xbox. And back in the day, I really wanted to play the first Dead Rising game, but it wasn't available on PlayStation. So, you know, I'd have to go around to my friend's house just to play Dead Rising. 
I mean, yeah, now you can download it on the PlayStation Store. With, you can download all the games on the PlayStation Store. But the fact is, it was never released as a physical copy. And many of my veteran subscribers know I do prefer grabbing physical copies of games as opposed to digital, digital downloads. I'll, I like to have my collection in front of me so I can see what I want to play next rather than going through a massive folder full of downloads, if that makes any sense to you. Uh, but yeah, com coming back to what I was saying anyway about Google. Back in March, Google threw down a potentially huge challenge to the industry in incumbents by revealing its plan for a game streaming service called Stadia. That was followed by Apple's unveiling of Arcade, a game subscription service for iPhones in which it is investing hundreds of millions of dollars to secure exclusive titles. But yeah, that kind of makes my whole argument about exclusive titles for PlayStation and Microsoft redundant because Apple are doing it now. So whether or not PlayStation and Xbox remove exclusive titles, there's still going to be exclusive titles to certain like developers and whatnot. So yeah, fuck it. <laughs> uh, but both services are slated to launch by the end of this year, with speculation growing that Amazon may join the fray with its own games platform. Which would make sense because you know they've they've got um, Twitch on their back, so it's they're bound to bring a couple of exclusives out of Amazon. Uh, so as I said earlier in the video, the competition is going to be absolutely insane, and could revolutionise the gaming industry as we know it. Again, with, with the Sony Microsoft team up, this could see the beginning of a future where gaming is under one unified controller. With Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Sony becoming kind of a kind of a conglomeration, making them all one big happy family, basically. <laughs> but yeah, you get my point with that, guys. But finally, to conclude the video, I found something else that could be of interest. Uh, so here goes. While Sony's latest generation of PlayStations has sold 92 million units, and Microsoft's Xbox is estimated to have sold about 40 million. <coughs> Another win for Sony there. <laughs> uh, but analysts have said that both companies' uh, positions may be under long-term threat from the advent of game streaming and the entry to the market of huge, deep-pocketed competitors. So, you know, as I've been saying with uh, Amazon joining the gaming hype and Google joining the gaming hype as well, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of pressure for these for Microsoft and Sony to get things out there now. That probably explains their latest team up. I don't know. Just throwing in a fan theory there. But for Sony to scale its offering in a similar way promised by Microsoft with Project X Cloud and Google with Stadia, it needs to partner to compete. So basically what I mean by that is Sony and Microsoft actually do have to join forces now all this console wars and console rivalry shit needs to be buried in the past i mean come on it's 2019 for god's sake you know who discriminates against what console's best now i mean yeah i always say i'm a playstation guy i love playstation but there's still a couple of games on xbox that i do enjoy playing you know even though i don't own an xbox but, uh, own an xbox but yeah <laughs> i can't even say xbox right it, it's just it's just salty on the tongue for me i just can't even say it properly <laughs> Um, but with game streaming technology developing and becoming that much more popular, however, still in its infancy, allows premium games to be played through multiple devices such as tablets, smartphones and TVs, but without a traditional console. So basically, um, think, about, think about what Sony do. Like you can download a game onto your phone from Sony and y you don't... You don't even need the TV to play it because it can just be played through your smartphone. I mean, I don't know if they're doing that with Days Gone or if they're doing it with Uncharted or anything, but I know there's a couple of games that Sony have released that you can just play on your phone and then you can play it on your console as well, but it's not really needed if you've got it on your phone because why would you hook it to your console if you downloaded it for your phone? It's, it's, it's one of those things where you just think, well, what is the point of this? <laughs> But the announcement from the two tech giants has left many puzzled and baffled over how 
the two rivalries will neatly co collaborate. Their joint press release did say that Sony would explore the use of Microsoft's Azure Cloud to stream its own content. So yeah, as, as I said earlier, that will probably be a couple of Sony's exclusives going over to uh, Microsoft's streaming service and vice versa with Xbox to PlayStation. But the, the two groups would look to work together on developing semiconductors dedicated to graphics processing where Sony has existing capabilities and artificial intelligence software where Microsoft has a greater experience. Again, I'm, I'm telling you, with that artificial intelligence stuff, it's, it's going to end up being Skynet, you know? It's, <laughs> we're just, we're just going to end up fucking getting killed by our favourite game characters, you know? Who, who would love to see a version of Kratos going around just killing everybody? Or, or a version of Nathan Drake just jumping out at you from, uh, from up above? Or a version of Spider-Man just swinging in and taking you off the ground and dropping you from the tallest building? <laughs> Imagine, right? <laughs> um... But yeah, anyway, that's all I was able to dig up on this historic or, or potentially disastrous team-up. I'm pretty sure we will definitely be hearing more news on this as the situation develops. So do let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Could this be the end of the historic console war between Sony and Microsoft? Could we see an end to console exclusives? Could we see a massive collaboration between the two tech giants and other gaming companies in future generations? Maybe uh, making online gaming one big happy family, so not, you know, sort of making the need for single servers just redundant, basically. So, like, take Grand Theft Auto, for example. Uh, PlayStation and Xbox have separate servers for their players for PlayStation uh, Grand Theft Auto users and Xbox Grand Theft Auto users, so that eventually could all merge into one, and they could all just be in one big server, which could be disastrous, but it could also be fun. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode, so thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it, as always. Shout out to all subscribers, old and new. We are now at 887 still slowly creeping towards that goal of 900 by the end of this year uh, stay tuned tomorrow because we will be back with our telltale game series of course we'll be doing walking dead season two absolutely love season two can't wait to bring the series to you uh, it'll probably be next week that i start back to the future because um my, my updates are done on my laptop but I can't seem to find the files from the hard drive on the PlayStation to purge them from it. So I, I don't know, I might, I might have to just buy a new copy. So if that's the case, uh, it's going to be another week because I don't get paid for another week. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's the, li the life of a YouTube gamer, right? You, you want to do something and you've either lost the game or you don't have the game. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with that, this has been Just The Facts with Gamer Dude. Happy gaming, and I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Peace.